Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of our Ark Survival Evolved Let's Play. And in this episode, we're back over on the island. And that's because for the past couple hours, I've been grinding, going around each of the maps, getting everything ready because I want to do the Cave of the Strong. Ideally. It's, in my opinion, it's the hardest cave, well, I don't know. It's like tied with the Cave of the Cunning on the island for the hardest cave. Just this one's on land, and I'd rather do that right now. We could still do Cave of the Immune, but I... Yeah. I, I don't know. <laughs> I, I don't know why I'm not doing that one. I just want to do this. But, okay, so what I did is I went over to Scorched Earth, made a bunch of propellant, and turned that into cluster grenades. And then I have all this ready. I grabbed up all of our best fur that I could find, made up some more ammo. Or not this, I made more this ammo. I repaired this rifle. Grabbed our highest level Rex from Scorched Earth is one of the ones we use for the Manicore fight that has a good saddle. Uh, so we should be able to do it. I'm hoping. I'm actually going to put that in my zero slot. I'm going to... Oops. I'm still in K mode. Uh, I'm going to just dump. That's fine. I'm gonna, I, I brought a tech helmet too. I'm going to bring a little bit of element because I think I'm going to wear the fur. But... Elements up here, right? Um, it just makes it easier to spot Perlovia stuff. Just bring like five element with me. And oh boy, this is one of the very few caves that I really, really dislike going in. I don't need a spyglass. Um, okay, so what I want is I'll grab Simba. And, huh. Well, do I have... Hmm. I'm just gonna look, cause, okay, I wanna leave, I'm gonna leave Rocket in the entryway to the cave. And... Leave, like, Simba and a oops, backup set of fur. Oh, I don't wanna take our chibi. Or desert cloth. Yeah, that'd be bad. I'm gonna get everything ready and I'll see you over there. Alright, well the cave is right up here by all these dire wolves and deodons and everything bad. So, yay. And I have the ferox on our shoulder as well because it just gives extra insulation. And it gets really, 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 really cold in that cave. So, any extra insulation I can get will be very much welcome. You get back here. Well, I guess I'll... Alright, wait for a little bit of stamina. There we go. Okay, so... Uh, I think I'm just gonna park... Uh... I'm just gonna park rocket like right here in the entrance. Well, I don't want you pushed up against anything because you might despawn. If if that's the case, I can still build here good. I'll just place the bed like there. I want it kind of elevated so something can't just run along and break it. I didn't bring walls because it's in the cave, like the entrance. Should be semi decent. You keep guard, okay, Rocket? Uh, okay, I'm going to then leave those on my zero slot. Probably put that in my. Oops. That in my eight slot. Uh, you have anything I want? No. Um. I'm just gonna drop all of this because I don't want. If I have to be in a hurry to run back. Actually, no, I'm gonna lift you. Well, whatever. I'm gonna let you keep the meat that I picked up, but yeah. Put some element in that. And, oop, lag spike. You know, I'm gonna also just save world right here. Just cause I don't trust this cave in the slightest bit. All right, so entering is always a challenge because it's zero degrees here. 
there's bad stuff like right over there. Can I throw out a Rex? Alright. Okay. Let's break our way in. Now once I have a moment to stop and think. I'll equip the what you might call it, the uh, bionic costume that I saved from when I transferred over here from Scorched Earth. This cave is like the um, the snow cave on Extinction, which I had a bunch of trouble with, and I had three Rexes. Now they weren't as good as these Rexes, but like still. Uh, and sometimes there there can be pretty darn good loot in here. Oh, there's still a bear? I thought you died. Okay, uh, let's give you that. You're special. Okay, uh, because all this water in here too, it hurts when you walk through it. Yeah. Like that, it just did four damage. Alright. And then there are Perlovian here, which is why I brought the cluster grenades. Usually, the reason I brought cluster grenades is because there's a, usually a bunch in one spot, so you can just use one cluster grenade to get a big bunch. Like, I see one over there, but I don't need to go over there. There's Perlovia right there, but I'm going to try and just... Oh, well, you know what. I should get rid of these in case I have to do a corpse run. Yeah. I don't know if that's making the ones behind me mad. No. Alright, well there's one, that's a Perlovia trap right there, because there's one in the ground and then there's one right next to it. So this one in the ground is going to jump out at me. But since I'm on a Rex, I'm so high up that it has trouble hitting me. Not really the easiest to see in here at points because of the uh, low ceiling on a Rex, but... Honestly, I wouldn't want to run through this cave on anything but a Rex. And I just, yeah, drop all of this Prime. It's quite a, Maybe I should just search for Prime. Uh, you know, I'm going to not throw out all the meat elite. Well, I'll throw some out just to get you lighter weight. But I'm going to keep a good portion of it because... In the event that I get need to force feed you to get your health back up. Could do this. Oh yeah, since it's nighttime, that reminds me. The very first time I went through this cave, I did it on a Megalosaurus, and that was a nightmare. For a couple reasons. One, Rexes are just way stronger than Megalosauruses, so this makes it better. I had to keep stopping and healing it. And also, I had to get through this cave and back out before it was morning, because the Megalosaurus would fall asleep. And I did fall asleep. You know, thankfully, I was on my way out, so there wasn't anything around me. But I had to sit and just wait for it to be nighttime again for it to wake up. That wasn't fun. And you were inside the wall. That's not fair. Alright, so sometimes there can be loot down here, too. And, oh, you know what? I should have brought a pickaxe. Because there's a point in here you have to bust through. Well, what I'm going to do is... Huh. Well, first, right, right now I'm going to hope I get a drop, a pickaxe as a drop. If not, I'll go there and then I'll probably just run out and go back. I don't know. Uh, yeah, I don't think I'm going to get a pickaxe as a drop. I'm... Huh... I'm going to run out really quickly and just go get like a primitive one from base or just make up a primitive one and come back because I know there's places you need to bust through. Oh, hey, loot spawn. Uh, back over here. Um, okay, but yeah. Wait. Oh, I thought that was our Ferox for a second. That scared me. That's like a frozen human. All right, I know if I hop off, stuff's going to get mad. Like those dire wolves. Or not? Can I grab this loot? Oh. Something got mad. 
Uh. Oh, you were over there. Also, with the saber tooth salmon in the water, they'll leave you alone unless you hit one of them, and then they'll do their bleed thing, and it's not fun. Where are you? You're under my butt. There we go. Can I get off now without... Whoa, okay. Well, I'm gonna grab this. Ichthyosaurus, that's so bad. Well, okay. I... am going to pick you up. Yeah. Give me your bionic costume, because I want that. Still. But I'm going to just run back to base, make up a uh, primitive pickaxe, and then see you back over here. Alright, so I made up a metal pick. Should help when we get there. Because I, yeah, you can't blow up the crystal with the grenades. Unfortunately, I'm pretty sure you can with C4, but you can't with cluster grenades, I don't think. Or just any grenades. But okay, let's get back down. And I'm just going to take this cave very slowly. Because you do not want to rush through this cave and get... Oh, there's a bear up there. Alright. Because if you rush through, you could get yourself into a bad situation very, very quickly. You are a Thanksgiving bear. Thanksgiving's over, though. You know, I should... Even though, like, the Thanksgiving event's still going on, I should... I'm going to hit that saber tooth salmon, aren't I? Or not. Okay. I should um put Christmas hats or like Santa hats on everything. I don't know. Just a thought. But actually am I gamma three? No. Well, I don't know. That might help the video. I don't really need it to see, but Oh yeah, and there is a Helena thing in this cave, which is just evil. Like actually. It's not over there, but that thing reminded me of it. But sometimes there can be loot down here, so I'm just going to look. I don't see any, so... There isn't any, I don't think. And if there is, I'll get it on the way back. But, alright, take care of these bears. And... Oh, there's one over there. Okay, uh, Yeti's still running. Alright. Oh, there's another one. Okay. And things like that up there. Okay. What I'm gonna do. Oh, all these direwolves are gonna get mad if I hop off, so I have to get rid of them first. I just have to smack one, and then all of them will get mad and come over to me. But, since there's a Perlovia in the middle of the walkway and there isn't one I can smack next to it, I'm going to use a cluster grenade to get rid of it. Don't push me into the water. This water is freezing cold, and I don't want to be in it. Don't think you would want to be in it either. Alright, I'm hoping... Get out of the water. You still in it? Yes. Okay. I should be... Alright, so just chuck that over there. Yep, that hit the Perlovia, so it came out of the ground. And that's just what I'm going to do every single time I see one, like, in its little mound. At least since this cave is, like, snow and ice and everything like that, it's not too terribly difficult to spot the mounds, but sometimes they can be pretty hidden still. And it's not fun. Alright, and right there is the Helena thing. Right over there. So, okay, can I fit through here? I think so, yes, alright, and just drop a bunch of this junk, probably a bunch of the fur, yep, because that's heavy, alright, so, I'm going to equip Helena, just so that she can activate when I get over there. 
Yeah, I like that. Oh, and there's loot in the water there. This place is dangerous. If you don't stop, the dinos will get you. Or the environment. Or who knows what else. 30% of survivors don't live to see a second day. And 55% don't make it past the first week. It's a little odd that they're called survivors when they're not so good at it. You, though? I got a good feeling about you. After all, they're putting you in the Genesis simulation for a reason, eh? Yeah, I mean, this cave is no joke. This is honestly, in my opinion, tied with the hardest one on the tied with the Cave of the Cunning for the hardest one on the island. I see that Yeti over there. I think the bears got mad. Yeah. Oh, you hit for a lot. Jeez. 137. I mean, everything in here is super high level. So, there's a Perlovia mound right there that I'm going to get rid of. I just have to back up first after when I hop off. So, let's get rid of these guys first, though. Come on. The Yetis just have a ton of health. They don't hit hard. The bears are the ones that hit hard. Don't push me into a wall either. I don't want to be stuck. No, no. Okay. Because this one, this cave, or all the caves on the island can have the issue that Aberration has. Where you can get pushed through the wall. It's unfortunate when it happens because there's not much you can do. I mean, you can try and ghost your dino out if you're on single player, but... Yeah, I don't want to have to do that. So... Just, I'd rather not have to face that. Okay, well, also, plus, I'm gonna have to hop off for that Perlovia Mound. Or, for the... Loot over there, so that's another good reason to get rid of that Perlovia Mound. Come on! There we go. 295 Gs. You... Just get more melee. I'll get you up to like a thousand melee. And then... Start. You're not gonna jump out at me, are you? No. I still missed. Let's chuck another one. That one hit. Okay. Okay. So let's get rid of you. And the direwolves are mad because of that. So it hit them, I'm guessing. Alright. And you. You're running from me, but I know as soon as I hop off, you're going to come back. I see something in the wall up there. There's a little tail. What is that? There's a little tail poking through the wall. Well, it'll aggro. Or not. There's a little, like, tail. Like, nub of a tail that keeps just occasionally poking through the wall. Can't really turn good enough to get over there. Yeah. No, Rex problems. <laughs> Why? Why do you have the turning radius of a Ford Mustang? Okay. Am I good to grab this loot? Probably not. Oh no, that is a Perlovia up there. It looks stuck though. Okay, I'm wondering. Huh. Uh. I'm just gonna go for it. Oh, but it's in the water. No. Uh, ah, give me out, give me out, give me out, give me out, give me out. Okay. That wasn't even worth it. Primitive Diplo Sal. That's below primitive, because I can craft better. And I don't want that. That hurts. Plus, it was hurting the Ferox. Okay. Well, let's. Uh, keep a going. And then over there, there's Perlovia Mounds. Well, if I hop off right here, that dire wolf will aggro onto me. Or not. 
Well, yeah, but okay, I'm gonna chuck that over there in the process too, just to get those Perlovias out of the water or out of the ground. There's still one in the ground. There's a couple in the ground, actually. There we go. See, and that's why I like cluster grenades, because you can hit, you just get a large area taken care of without having to use multiple grenades or a rocket launch. <sighs> I mean, normal grenades work just fine, it's just cluster grenades are so much better for this. Can I hit you guys? Because I don't really want you just being there. Because I am going to have to come out. Oh, I can. Okay, good. I can hit one of you, I think. Eh, I don't know. Oh, there's one dead. Oh, no. Yeah. Alright. I'm trying not to use the shotgun ammo because at the very end there's a place, like right before the artifact there's a point the wrecks just can't fit through. And I'm trying to save the shotgun ammo for there. Uh, you guys can't get to me up here, so. Uh, let's just drop this. And all this. Okay, so right here though is the first point you have to bust through. And that's why I was nervous about those. I can have that back. Oh, well, that's nice. <laughs> I can see bears in the ceiling. But yeah, there's a whole bunch of stuff right here. Um, I'm gonna get rid of these and then get rid of the Perlovias with a grenade, I think. Is that bear able to get to me? Oh, well those above above the cave are mad. If I hop off, I don't want to go get stuck up there. See, I don't want to hit the Perlovias when I'm like over here because that one might be able to jump up and knock me off. I doubt it. Actually, okay, if I'm going to hit a Perlovia, I should hit that one that's close to it. So, like, right here. So then it'll hit the underside of the Rex. Yeah, like that. Whoa! I forgot how much direwolves push you back. Alright, get rid of all this. And this last direwolf. Oh, and the Yeti. Alright, alright. Still can't go into third person. That bear over there is messing with me. Because it, it knows that it can get me, but it's running. Can you come here? Or are you stuck? If you're stuck, it's going to be annoying because I have to keep waiting to hit you. Alright. Give you some... Oh, I got a level. Okay, let's get more fortitude. So that'll be useful in here. Get you out of here. There we go. I hear those bears that are on the roof of the cave, or like outside of the mesh up there. Because there is a place, they're probably going to come out of the wall. Because I'm going to have to break, yeah, I have to hop off here and break this crystal. Okay, can I not fit still? I thought I should be able to. Yeah, I can, I just was too far over. Okay, so this room, oh, I have bad memories with this room. <laughs> there's usually a bunch of Perlovias in here. Like, there's one there. That's actually a neat looking black and yellow Perlovia, and I don't actually see too many mounds. I'm gonna throw a grenade over there, though, just to be safe. Just to be safe, after this dire wolf is dead. Okay. Whoa, okay, you ate as soon as I threw that. That could have gone way, way worse. Okay, let's get rid of all of these guys. 
Whoa! Okay, so there was one in the wall. Because that just jumped out at us. Alright. Uh, we're getting kind of there. And I just realized I never showed you where the entrance is on the map. I, I can do that when we leave, though. So. Yeah. These yetis have so much health, jeez. You guys. The bears don't have much health, which is good. It's just... I guess it's a trade-off. One has high health, one has high melee. But, like... Whew! But I guess it is also good since we're so far going through this cave smoothly and knock on wood. Um might be able to go do the ice titan cave with less struggles because <laughs> i was thinking about that as maybe just going and doing one of the titans again and like actually showing how to do the cave like on the side but i don't know let's get you guys out of here though and there is a path up i would only go up there if there's loot because sometimes there can be a loot drop up there but doesn't take you anywhere important. There's just more bad stuff up there generally. The direwolves before they can attack me. There we go. And you know what? I'm going to. Well, actually, what temp? Oh, it's negative 11. Am I going to start freezing if I switch to attack helmet? No. Okay, I'm going to switch to this. So I can just see the uh, Perlovia Mounds outlined easier. If there are any. Just to make my life easier. Because, like, I think I made way too many grenades. But, like, usually usually there's way more Perlovia Mounds than I've seen so far in here. That's an interesting thing. Uh, oh, there is a loot drop up there. Okay, and it's a red drop. So I'm going to go back around and grab that, actually. But there is also bad stuff up there. There we go. Oh, you can break the crystal with these. Okay, I didn't know if you could or not. Um, wait, this could actually work. Yeah. That's kind of garbage, though. Not gonna lie. Oh, you know what? You follow me over here. I can hop on you, ha ha! And I'll just do that. Can I cross this gap on a Rex? Probably not. No, oh wait, no I can! What? <laughs> okay. Well, went round the other way. All right, I mean, this is back where we need to go. It's just an alternate way. And the Perlovias and stuff. I'm going to get rid of them. But that's the last place you need to bust through with a pickaxe before the end. So, we're almost there, actually. Okay. Almost done. Because you go through there, and then it makes a left. And then you, you're pretty close to the room with the artifact. All right. Okay. Or, oh, wait. Yeah, over there is up ahead. I guess I'm still farther back than I thought I was. There's a little more, little more, but it's still negligible. It's a ton of bears and yetis here though. Once I get rid of these, I'm gonna use a grenade on the you hit for 159 G's. That's insane. Like just from a wild creature, a bear, a polar bear. It's a shame you can't tame them because they're so strong. I mean, they're basically just dire bears, but they have slightly different stats. So, yeah, it's whatever. These guys are gonna take forever though because they're all mate boosted. So they're taking less damage. Eh, I guess not. And now you're going to take full damage. Because there's no more. Ha <laughs> ha. Get rid of you as well. You going to run? Uh, no. You're coming back. 
Okay. I'm gonna back myself up into here a little bit just so they won't immediately jump off at me. Oh, but you're gonna do that. Uh, need like a beep, beep, beep. That should work. Yep, that got all of them out. Perfect. All right, so that's a lot better. Oh, we're slot capped and we're encumbered. That's fun. Uh, <laughs> oh boy. It's a ton of stuff, jeez. But anyways. Okay, there's more, yeah. There's starting to get into more Perlovia territory. All right, that got that one out. That's the only other thing with cluster grenades though. Is whenever I throw one, I don't want to get too close, because then I'll blow myself up. Which isn't going to be fun. Alright, yeah, this is the area I was thinking of. You just go left over there, and then this, the artifacts is kind of at the end of that tunnel, almost. There's a slight other jaunt you have to make over to the side, but it's not much. But that up ahead is where we can't take the wrecks anymore, so that's where I have to go on foot. That's going to be fun. Now, I do also see one thing I do think, one thing I remember being kind of fun is there's, there's just all those clusters of fish. And in that room with the artifact, there's always one. And it's just always fun throwing a grenade in there and just seeing what happens. Get you guys though. Uh. It's probably not even going to kill the fish. It's not even worth it. Uh, just drop a bunch of this, though. Alright. Just because I don't want to be super heavy going over there. I know I could drop more of the... Uh, what is that, even? Oh, I don't have... Oh, well, I drank one of those. Um, okay, well. I, yeah. yeah. I don't. There was some with a tail, and I don't know what it was. But, alright. It's hard to see here just because the ceiling is low. But, I right, should be able to take care of these bears pretty comfortably, I would hope. Oh, did I smack the Perlovia? I don't think so. Come on, direwolves, stop howling. Alright. So you guys are the ones that are giving me all the berries and the stone tools and stuff. Alright. Uh, I don't even think there's enough room here for that Perlover to jump out and knock me off. So, should be fine. Yeah, we were fine with that though. So, But there are more up ahead that I am going to use the grenade on. I could have honestly just made like 50 cluster grenades and we would have been fine. Because I've just, I've used 10. Because I had 136, so that was the max I could make. And we have 126 left. Gonna have to find something to use them on. But, alright, let's chuck one of those way up there. That got, did its job. Perfect. Why can't you fit past here anymore? Are you stuck on the crystal or something? Oh, probably. Alright. And it got the bear mad. Perfect. Did another job I had to do for me. And yeah, I know there's that other bear down there. It's whatever. Uh, I'm gonna get rid of you if I can or not. You're gonna. I feel like you're gonna find a way around. I don't want to fall in there though, cause I'm not gonna be able to get out very easily. Oh, but I kind of backed myself into a corner. I just have to do very small things. All right, there we go. So up here is where the wrecks can't fit. Let's go prime, or primitive and prime. Okay. So this is the most nerve wracking part. Okay, well, first there's that right there.
Uh, a bunch of oh yeah okay so knock both of them out good all right that's that uh, I'm honestly I think I'm just gonna use the grenades to my advantage here or not all right there we go and just use them to pull things back in large quantities. We good to go in here now? Please? Oh, there's a bear down there. Uh, I think we're fine. I can get that bear from up there, which is with the shotgun. Wow, that was a lot of just running back and forth. Okay, well, there's the artifact. just do this to get rid of the bear because I still don't trust it but I don't need to pull it out all right all right let's turn what was that sometimes there can be perlovia mounds on the the thing which is never fun I hear something is that the fish because I know angler fish make a noise you know what what you get. Now I just have to make sure I don't fall in the water. Uh, yeah, we're fine, right? Yeah, we're fine. Gamma. Alright, because I'm not about to run back down here and get another screenshot with this artifact. Oh, let's do that too. There we go. Okay. Artifact of the Strong. One of the hardest artifacts to get in the game. And let's get our butt out of here. I mean, okay. Since I usually don't used to... There's a red drop somewhere. Where is the red drop? Is there a red drop? Because this is the glow that a red drop gives off. I don't know. Whatever. I want to get out of this cave. So, yeah. I know I usually like to show most of the cave run through and like boss fights and stuff like that. That took a while and it's probably a long episode. So I'm going to probably just cut and I'll see you on the outside. Unless anything interesting happens on the way out. Then I will obviously bring you back. Who boy does that cave kick my butt every single time I go through it. But we have it. Now it's not my least favorite cave on the island. That one's reserved for Cave of the Cunning. But it's this one's probably about as hard as that one. Dude, the only difference is the other one's underwater. But Okay, we have it finally. Alright, well. That's super zoomed out. I hope you enjoyed. <laughs> I need to go decide what cave I'm going to do in the next one. Probably immune because we don't have an imprinted Basilosaurus. Or we go tame Basilosaurus and breed Basilosauruses. I don't know. By the way, <laughs> I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in the next one.